Lifting the curtain on a classic. If the red curly wig or the opening number doesn't give it away, this is a production of the classic musical Annie. Columba College pupil Emily Hill has the lead role, and it's a part she's been training for over much of her young life. Um, well, I always loved Annie, like, so much, and I always wanted to be Annie, and so I'd seen all the movies, and then when I got the part, I started looking up some YouTube videos of schools that had done Annie. And when asked how she thinks her Annie compares with others... Uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> Otago Boys High School pupil Thomas Sharp has the lead male role of Warbucks. And like his leading lady, he's no slouch in the acting department. I've always had an interest in theatre. Um, in primary school, I would always be champion at the bit to get on stage and just, yeah, just be in front of a crowd. Um, I did uh, kids' plays with Anita Cumming um, in this exact theatre uh, when I was in my, well, I was probably about 11. Um, and I've done their Tiger Boys production every year that I've been at Tiger Boys. And uh, this is my first Columbus show. It's also a very familiar production for the director, Gladys Hope, who has directed it before. Yes, I have. Two years ago I did The Wizard of Oz, and I've also directed Annie before uh, for Musical Theatre Dunedin. Oh, no, sorry, Tyree Musical Society. And I've also been in Annie myself as Miss Hannigan many years ago. This afternoon's audience of senior citizens and pupils from Carisbrook School obviously enjoyed the production. In the theatre world, there are some productions that will always be a tough ask to replicate. And you can see for yourself at the Mayfair, as the song says, Tomorrow. Daryl Baser, 39, Dunedin News.